Hello and welcome back everybody, or if you're new, welcome to Jeremy's Garden, a funumentary documenting my life. A funumentary because life should be fun. I'm thinking of life. If you're not living your dream, you're not living. And if you're not living, maybe it's time to ask yourself, what is your dream? And then go live it. Whoa, what am I thinking? Don't take a nap. You gotta toil some soil. Can't get it up. Hmm. Can't get it up, huh? Yep. Don't you worry. I got you. All right, just hold on this one moment. Here you go. Here's some help. This will help you. Yeah. Prescription? What on? What? Blue pill? What? This is a humongous. This is a huge prescription pad. Why is it so big? Well, you know, it's a big prescription pad because, well, when you're writing something like a prescription for the blue pill, it's got to be big, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I probably shouldn't have, um, I probably shouldn't have asked this, but uh, why is the blue pill written in red ink? Uh, do I even want to ask that question? Yeah, well, you know, I use the red ink because, well, the blue pill will get your blood pumping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have bothered asking that question. Uh, look, uh, all I really meant was the wheelbarrow. I can't get it off of me. Can't lift it up. Yeah, could, maybe you could just give me a hand. Uh, that would be kind. Oh, well, hold on. Let me get you there. Uh, Oh, oh, my back. Oh, oh, sorry. I almost dropped back on top of you. 
Hold on. Let me just. Oh. Whew. Whew. That's a big wheelbarrow. <laughs> Uh, I got a my half a mind to think that uh, that that wheelbarrow is on the blue pill. <laughs> oh, what a thing of beauty! Oh yeah, uh, no more dip in the road. There's uh, I do have one side over on the right hand side passenger side where um where i do need like two more wheelbarrows to fill that in and yeah i am so excited it's nice not having to drive through that little dip i mean it was only about a foot and a half uh you know deep so and it was very uh is wide enough that you know it was a very gentle little dip so I'm very very pleased uh, eventually the uphill side here I will fill that in down the road but as far as it washing out again I'm not worried about it I mean you figure what is existing right here took a minimum of multiple decades if not centuries or longer to finally wash out you know this is undeveloped land so you know yeah i'm not worried about it washing out in my lifetime so yeah it should be good you know maybe there will be a fluke rainstorm and it'll all go away but i don't think so i think i'm going to be pretty good thinking of two more wheelbarrows of fill dirt down here at the project site i have just about two perfect size wheelbarrows full of fill dirt you know that i can do a fill dirt so uh yeah otherwise i've been kind of messing out laying out the uh cinder blocks here because i'm going to be doing cinder block foundation uh i will be for those of you inqu inquiring, I will be taking uh, cement and basically using it as a mortar and putting all these cement blocks together. They're going to be very, very stout. It's going to be very, very stout. Uh, but it'll allow me to get like a nice concrete foundation without requiring all the water that is going to be required, you know, to pour a full foundation as opposed to... Uh, gluing the cinders together and then going over it on the outside just giving them a coat like a like a little uh, um, like a little plaster concrete plaster on the outside so yeah it's going to be very very stout very much overkill for this little eight by eight uh, but you know I figure I'm going to build them to be here for a little while so that'll be a good thing but I do need to buy some more cinder blocks. Yes, I do, I do. Wait, don't go away yet, Jeremy. What about fill dirt around the foundation of the eight by eight? Well, this is the original eight by eight. that was gonna get extended to an eight by 12 and then to an eight by 16 with the necessity of making it a larger building, I need to have a better foundation. So I had to take all the bricks out and basically I'm starting from scratch. So I'll be digging out all of this for foundation. So I will have a lot of fill dirt that I can use on the other building. And then I'll have plenty in the center area of this building, uh, you know, to stockpile and then put back in around this building once the whole foundation is set up. So yeah, some cinder blocks and some concrete. And it's gonna be stout little, stout little buildings. All right. All right, thanks for watching everyone. I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope you had fun watching it. Uh, 
I'm a little late coming out with my video, but uh, my poodle, Gigi, she's 20 years old, soon to be 21, has had a little bit of hip issues. And so I've been trying to figure that out, uh, talking to a vet and all that stuff. So, you know, trying to, trying to work with that. So she's also deaf and blind. So I just want to make sure that she's comfortable and all that. So, cause she needs a little extra attention. Uh, with that said, click like, hit subscribe. And if you are so inclined, I do have a couple of donation links in the show notes. Uh, there's also a Patreon and yeah, um, you know, till next, huh? Get out, dig in and let your worries melt away.